Hello and thank you for joining me on my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is a reading for Thursday the 15th of October. We're getting closer and closer to the new moon which is tomorrow on this Friday the 16th depending on when you get this reading. Uh, it's depending on what hemisphere and time zone you're in. But yeah we're getting closer and closer to the new moon in Libra. So let's have a look at the energies for today. We're going to be reading the cards intuitively. They're not tarot this week. It's Brian Froud's Fairies Oracle, so we're going to look at energies around the home, energies in career and finance, and energies in love and relationship. So we're going to start with an overall energy for the day. Okay, Luathus the Wild. Wow, number 57, Luathus the Wild. Can't say it, Luathus the Wild. So this is very much... I feel like there is, this is the mischief. I feel like there's mischief being made. <laughs> mischief is being made today. Uh, and someone, this could be related to a world leader. It feels like, it again, it's on some sort of um, collective related to a collective consciousness it could just be a collective energy that's hitting the earth where it's just kind of um the energy of that little voice inside your head that either tries to tempt you or trick you or um kind of pull the wool over your eyes the re it has a purpose though this energy this energy is actually testing you and sometimes it's taking you out of your comfort zone, out of your just a normal state to kind of get you to see things from a different perspective. Its main element is to surprise you, to, to change your mindset so that you might see something from a different perspective. But it could come in any kind of form and it can be quite um, chaotic and mischievous. But it's not malicious. It's mischievous and that's the difference in the energies. So energy around the home, we have Gwacha, 64. It's almost like I can't look. I can't look. Surprising changes, some surprises, uh, big change and sh changes and shifts coming in. It's like, um, yeah, I almost, can't, I almost can't bear to look is what I'm kind of the message I'm getting. But, yeah, I do feel like um, for some people there's consequences for actions as well uh, that are coming through here so yeah there's a almost a reckoning as well around the home for some people I don't necessarily feel like it's you it might be other people within your home you're seeing someone and you're kind of like why did you do that I can't believe you did that and now here are the ramifications so it does feel like there's some sort of um this is kind of like feels a bit like the energy of the judgment card that there's there's some kind of ramification for action, somebody else's action or someone's actions within the home today. And, yeah, there could be, you know, things to do with discipline or um, responsibility, could be related to children as well. But, yeah, I do feel like there's energies shifting and changing around the home, some big changes for some of you. Okay. Number 61 for career and finance. This is very much the message to be incredibly prudent with your money today. Make sure your money is safeguarded. Make sure your investments are safe. Uh, make sure that they're, I'm getting, you know, people trying to take from you or internet scams and things like that for some of you. But I'm just getting, what I'm really getting is Hogwarts, the goblin. I mean, not Hogwarts, but um, what's it called? The, the bank in Harry Potter with the goblins. Gringotts, that's it. I'm getting Gringotts. And it's very much be very, very, like I'm getting banks, institutions, making sure your money is safe and in, uh, yeah, protected. So be very, very prudent with your money today is the message I'm getting here with this card. Okay, 
So, yeah, it's not the day for financial risks. It's the day to um, just basically keep the status quo, not do anything, you know, just keep the money where it is, not moving too th- too many things around. Um, yeah, don't take too many financial risks today. It's kind of the energy coming through here. Ooh. For love and relationships, we have fairy guide. It's just kind of like a blank card. It's it's very much mm, the blank card. It's the great unknown. It's the wild card that's coming up here. So there's there's something um, mysterious and as unknown happening on a love and relationships level I feel like um yeah there's a surprise coming in a surprise for some of you as well I'm not kind of getting ghosting someone might ghost you today uh or blank you might get nothing back from somebody just blankness uh but yeah there's there's this real unknown element that's coming in that has got a real synchronistic element to it for some of you so mm. Surprise from the universe. It's a bit interesting, intriguing. And message from the universe, we have the Bright Mothers, number 16. And this is actually a really beautiful card to come through. It's almost, you know, it's this is like the mother that, and this is like the mischievous child energy. And we've had a bit of mischievous energy here. You know, these all of these cards are all, cards are all looking a little bit, you know, like mischievous, get away, uh, just some, like that kind of energy, you know, just can't explain it. But anyway, we have the bright mother coming in or the bright mothers coming through, which is actually the energy that is like the antidote to that mischievous energy it's just it comes in and smooths everything and soothes everything and nurtures everything and says okay everything's going to be okay you know it's all good it's okay nurture yourself look after yourself look at how you're looking after your body your diet but also caring for people around you as well so it does feel very much like a lovely soft divine feminine energy coming in where there was a little bit of a tricky masculine energy there that you were kind of working with and suddenly the message is that the, you might find some more solace and comfort working with that feminine energy as well, the divine feminine energy. So rather than trying to make things happen today, try rather than I, I get very much if you want to step into that masculine energy, you're playing with the trickster kind of energy so if you want to actually be feeling good about yourself step into the divine feminine (laughs) so um yeah i just get um don't do too much don't be taking too many risks don't enact any too many big plans today it's because there's some mistruths flying around and it's not the right time so i hope that makes sense i'll see you tomorrow take care bye